morning students welcome back to SST class of 7 in our previous video we had completed the chapter the state government and I hope that everybody have understood it very well so in today's class I will be discussing the exercises and question answers of the chapter so before discussing the exercises let's take a quick recap of the chapter in our previous chapter we have studied about the state government what is the state government how the state government functions and the types of uh, legislature that is unicameral and bicameral okay and what are the functions towards the citizens these all things we studied under this chapter okay so let's get started with our today's class so before starting the exercise discussion let me explain you the important key terms of the chapter so that it would be easier for you to understand it better okay so let's get started the first one is accountable accountable means answerable ki jawab dehi Thik? responsible for actions and decisions taken by a person himself herself and expected to explain when they are asked to ye kya hoti hai uh, responsible for action कुछ ऐसे action या decision कोई person लेता है responsible person लेता है उसको कोई काम allot किया जाता है and he or she is answerable for that that is called as accountable जब उनसे पूछा जाएगा तो उन्हें उस चीज के बारे में answer करना है कि उन्होंने क्या decision लिया क्या काम किया like that clear then second is allocates allocate means division of work क्या काम दिया गया है to give something officially to somebody for a particular purpose. Thin? So, what do we say? Officially, we give something for a purpose. Like if I have allocated in the sports department to some person, then it is allocation. It means that we give something particularly with a purpose with a responsible official person. Ko de rahe. Then, third is bicameral. Bi means two. Bi means two. Okay? A representative form of government composed of two legislative chambers. So, as a legislature, just me, do kya hote legislative chambers hote hai. Thik hai, ye as a government ka form hota hai, just me legislature jo hota hai, do parts me divide hota hai. Thik, that is legislative assembly and legislative council, just me hindi me vidhan sabha and vidhan parishad kehte hai. Right? Now, legislature. A group of people who have the power to make and change laws. What is legislature? It is a group of people that make laws and also can change the laws. Suppose koi law pehle se prevalent hai aur wo ab use mein nahi ho hai, they can make some changes, modify kar sakte hai. So what is legislature? A group of people who make laws and change the law. Right? Then, local bodies. A group of people who work or act together for an official purpose in a particular area. ये क्या होते हैं local bodies होते हैं ये ऐसी bodies होते हैं जिसमें एक organisation होता है जिसमें group of people work करते हैं जो कि उस particular area suppose जैसे अगर मैं अपने area प्रयागराज की बात करूँ प्रयागराज में अगर हंडिया की बात करती हूँ तो वो क्या हो गया local body हो गया वहाँ के local body उसके लिए particular area के लिए काम करते हैं जैसे कि प्रधान है ना देन प्रिसाइडेड टू लीड और बी इन चार्ज ऑफ ए मीटिंग और सेरेमनी प्रिसाइड मींस टू टेक ओवर उसको कंटिन्यू uh, करना मींस एज यू कैन से हेड करना जैसे कोई मीटिंग होती है या कोई सेरेमनी होती है उसको लीड करना उसी को हम कहते हैं प्रिसाइडेड जैसे अगर हम लेजिस्लेटिव uh, की बात करें तो जैसे डेप्यूटी चेयरमैन है चेयरमैन है स्पीकर है ये मीटिंग को क्या करते हैं प्रिसाइड करते हैं देन यूनी कैमरल यूनी मीन्स सिंगल ठीक अ रिप्रेजेंटेटिव फॉर्म ऑफ गवर्नमेंट विद अ सिंगल लेजिस्लेटिव चैम्बर इट इज दैट टाइप ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटेटिव फॉर्म ऑफ गवर्नमेंट इन विच देर इज ओनली सिंगल लेजिस्लेटिव चैम्बर इज देयर इधर इट विल बी विधान सभा और इधर इट विल बी विधान परिषद राइट सो दीज आर सम इम्पोर्टेंट की टर्म्स ऑफ द चैप्टर सो चिल्ड्रेन यू हैव टू राइट इट इन योर कॉपी एंड यू हैव टू लर्न इट ऑल्सो ओके इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ 
let's discuss the exercises of the chapter children open your page number 232 and question number a is multiple choice questions tick the correct options the first one the procedure of making and passing a law is called option a execution option b legislation and option c judicial so the right answer is option b that is legislation okay then question number 2 what is the legislative council known as option a vidhan parishad option b vidhan sabha and option c parliament so the right answer is option a that is vidhan parishad okay now come to question number b that is fill in the blanks first one our dash clearly defines the power of the state government so the right answer is constitution okay then second a dash is a formally chosen body of people empowered with the authority to make rules and regulations so the answer is legislature okay then third members of a legislative assembly cannot be more than answer is 500 or less than 60 okay then fourth one members to legislative councils are dash elected answer is indirectly okay and fifth one is registered voters of the region elect one dash from each constituency to the legislative assembly and the right answer is representative okay now question 6 for the sake of election states are divided into smaller areas known as so the right answer is answer number 6 is constituencies what is the right answer constituencies okay question c is match the following okay first one vidhan sabha lower house collector implementation of law governor nominal head of the state vidhan parishad that is upper house then sp that is samajwadi party and bsp that is bahujan samaj party okay so this is about the match the following and now come to page number 233 again question number a multiple choice questions tick the correct options first one which of the following is true about the legislative council option a it is a permanent body option b every member has a tenure of 6 years option c both a and b so the right answer is option c that is both a and b okay now question 2 what are the smaller areas into which states are divided during elections option a homes option b blocks and option c constituencies so the right answer is option c that is constituency twenties so children this is the exercises of the chapter these exercises you have to do in the book itself put the date and write in a neat and clean handwriting with pencil nobody will use pen everybody will fill it with pencil okay and send it to the next day in the class group as your homework okay now coming to the question answers first you have to write about the chapter that you will be getting the notes in the form of pdf first of all put the date write the name and number of the chapter then about the chapter then key terms jo maine aapko likhwaya hai wo aapko likhna hai then come to question b that is short answer questions you will get notes in the form of pdf aapko notes mil jayega in the form of pdf in the group then question c that is long question answers that also you will get as notes then question d that is higher order thinking skill questions that also you will be getting the notes in the form of pdf and after writing the question answers at last you have to give the heading of summary and summary you have to write from uh, page number 231 to 232 points to remember is given on the um, chapter at the last of the chapter from there you have to note it down so children that is all about the chapter and i hope all you have understood it very well okay so that's all for today thank you class